Let's bring in James Head. He's a distinguished professor at Brown University specializing in Earth, environmental, and planetary sciences, and he worked on the NASA Apollo program. Jim, welcome to the program. China's first manned mission in five years, successful. A lot of excitement and, and anticipation for this mission. Talk about why this is so significant for the country's space program. Well, it's really significant. I was giving a seminar at China University of Geosciences in Wuhan last night, and we paused in the middle of my seminar to watch the launch. It was just great. And we came back and we talked about the seminar. The seminar was about the Zhurong, the Chinese lander on Mars, and the rover that is exploring Mars. So these are very exciting times for the Chinese space program. And it's incredible uh, to be able to have this additional capability in Earth orbit, in addition to the International Space Station to open up this kind of exploration to everyone. Yeah, and I want to talk about that in a moment, but can you give us a sense what life will be like for these three astronauts the next several months? Sure, you know, it's it's sort of like moving into a new house. You know, you, you kind of check the lights, check the heat and uh, cooling, and, and of course check the toilets, and things like that. You want to make sure everything's working, and so check out of all these systems is a really important part of this. Yeah, lay down a few rugs, you know, make, make yourself at home. And so that sounds trivial, but it's very important because this is not exactly a house on Earth, it's a house in space. So they'll be doing that and then preparing experiments. They brought some cameras on board, et cetera. They'll be preparing the scientific experiments to do later on and then prepare it for the upcoming modules that will be launched in the coming year and a half. And this space station, Tiangong, is still under construction. How similar or how different is it from the International Space Station? Well, the International Space Station is larger, but this is a very, very important uh, con context. Basically, you, you have to assemble pieces up there. It's like building an addition on a house. If you want to do scientific experiments, you can't do them in the kitchen exactly. So you need to have a module come up to connect. Uh, to do those experiments in. So it takes a while to put these things together, but it enhances uh, really the return on the investment in this, which is indeed to further international and national uh, uh, collaboration and scientific research. China also, as you mentioned earlier, uh, landed rovers on the moon and on Mars. And that to me just seems remarkable, Jim, considering China didn't launch an astronaut into space until what, 2003? more than 40 years after the United States and then Soviet Union. I think that's very true. They made really uh, incredible leaps and bounds advances here. And I think this is, people should remember that this is not their first space station. This is their third space station. So they've been practicing at this, working out a lot of the details. That's exactly what we did in Apollo. You know, we flew uh, Mercury and Gemini and worked our way up, et cetera. It's a steep learning curve, but, you know, you have to learn these lessons, and China has been doing that very well. And, all, you know, I listened to a uh, meeting in St. Petersburg yesterday where the head of the Chinese Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, the president, talked about rockets that are going to take humans to Mars on the part of China and other international people. So it's very exciting. And China, uh, I'm sure you know this already, is essentially not allowed on the International Space Station because of political objections and U.S. legislative restrictions and on and on. With ISS potentially running out of funding, could China's space station be the only one in orbit? I think that's very unlikely. It's, it's really great to have the addition of China's uh, space station, but certainly the International Space Station will be continued, and also that international partners will be engaged. Uh, Russia will probably have a, a space station as well. They've had one in the past. So it's much more that everyone is advancing technology and trying to get into this new frontier, this final frontier, as we move out and head to the moon and on to Mars. So uh, I think it's really, we should not emphasize the competition, but more emphasize the collaboration and how this really buys into um, great advances for civilization as a whole. Collaboration on Earth, collaboration in space. Jim Head, thank you so much.